Westmoreland Community Connections is a presentation of the Westmoreland Drug and Alcohol Commission. Welcome to Westmoreland Community Connections, a look at issues and happenings on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. Here now is your host, Chad Ammond, President and CEO of the Westmoreland County Chamber of Commerce. Hello and welcome to Westmoreland Community Connections. I'm your host, President and CEO of the Westmoreland County Chamber of Commerce, Chad Ammond. I am excited to have on the show today Aubrey Birchall and Russ Birchall. Uh, they are um, they are people that you would know if you are listening and if you are into music and you are uh, watching um, American Idol. But uh, Aubrey, you you've been you've been playing and uh, singing around Westmoreland County for a while. Yes, uh, I have. Yeah. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much for having me. Um, this is, this is awesome, but I have been, you know, doing my thing for about seven years now. I'm 17. So I, I, So you've been singing since you were 10. Yes. Wow. Yes, I have. It all started with this, this solo I had in the fifth grade. I was this little Spanish lady. I sang De Colores. No kidding. Yeah. It, it was all in Spanish and I, I got so nervous that I, I got sick that night. <laughs> but well, you it, spend a lot of time in front of a microphone. I, I, do I mean, now. you're probably you're you're probably it's 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 easing a little bit for you now, right? Be, yes. Being on national television, right? <laughs> it comes more naturally at this point than it did whenever I, I was just starting out. But so you're 17. You, yes. You are, where, where are you going to uh, to high school in in Westmoreland? Uh, currently, I'm going to Norman High School. I'm actually uh, cyber school like at the moment, okay, but yeah. uh, I I'll just say I'm an, uh, a student at Norman High School. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. So, uh, give a little bit about your background and uh, what what how did you fall in love with music? Sure. Uh, well, my dad is a musician, and I sort of learned the trade from him. I sort of picked up pitch, and I, I don't play the guitar. He he plays the guitar for me, uh, but. That's sort of how it all started, and my dad's been in bands and stuff, so we we even wrote like little melodies whenever like my sisters and I were younger. So they, my dad and my mom have been just very supportive of of my uh, my journey here. Well, Russ, I I, I guess I'm I'm going to ask you about your background too, because obviously you've you've been a, a huge influence on Aubrey, and uh, how is how is how, how was your background in music? Um, well, I started playing guitar when I was about 12, but by the time I was 15, I was with a group of guys that wanted to play. Um, unfortunately, there weren't many good places for guys our age to play, so we'd have to wait until they allowed us to go into the bar, and then when we were done, we had to vamoose it on out of there. Right. Nowadays, there are some really advantageous places for folks um, her age and younger even yeah. to, to, to find themselves on, on a stage. And um, one in particular, if, if, if uh, shameless plug, the Keynote Cafe yeah. in Jeanette yeah, yes. right, is right. just magical for these young folks yeah. and, and older folks alike. I mean, you know, it helps, it helps everyone uh, because it gives folks an opportunity. If you've never been on stage, they have open stages on, on, uh, on Thursdays yes. and, and they have regular shows as well. And, and it's, it's a great place just, to, just for young folks to flourish. I've seen some, some people who were deeply in their shells uh, come out and they're just fantastic. Sometimes when I see these kids sing, it just raises the hair on the back of my neck. And, um, and, and Jill, um, Jill Arbani Ar Sorrells um, is the proprietor and, and, and she is the most gracious and angelic person. To be specific. She's a second grandmother yes. for her. Oh, she, really? Yeah. <laughs> we, could have not, we could not have done anything American Idol without losing our house <laughs> if she had not helped us out. No kidding, right? No kidding. No kidding in, at all. In, in in what way? I mean, um, well, there was a, there's a lot of travel up front that you have to do. There's more than one inter interview that you have to. There's more than okay. one audition. There yeah, are multiple. Walk, walk me through travel. the walk me and the and the guests through the American sure. Idol experience. Well, back in August, yeah. uh, back in August, we started out in Bakery Square. Okay. And um, it was just one of those situations where a father and daughter show up, and you know the wife dropped us off. Good luck, you know. Hope you guys have a good time. And um, and and we got in this long line of people. It was a huge line. It was rainy. It was miserable. It was a horrible day for August. I think it was like <laughs> yeah. sixty degrees. Yeah, that I mean day. It, right. it was fine like a little bit later, but that's beside the point. <laughs> but you know, uh, you go there and you meet so many amazing people. But we were there and we were kind of like, all right, well, I mean, this isn't happening. So I. 
I, I, I mean, that's it's fine. We'll go. We'll do our best. But we're going to get turned away. Right. Yeah. That, right? that was the like, whole thought. I thought at the end, you know what? I mean, I have faith in her. I know that she's phenomenal. But yeah. I'm a dad and I'm biased, so yeah, I have to right, take right. that into account, yeah. right? So yes. I'm thinking the entire time, okay, well, you know, whenever, if she doesn't get through this this portion, we'll walk over across the street, have a cup of coffee, talk about it. We'll leave here with our heads held high, and that'll be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I took my guitar with me, and I was thinking, please, God, don't make me play. Like, because she, <laughs> she had to sing some acapella tunes. So yeah. she sang, you sang your, your original uh, acapella, Well, right? actually, first, I sang If I Ain't Got You, and they're like, all right, sing another song. Um, to be clear, this is, this is a producer. Um, so the producer after that was like, all right, so we're going to bring two of these girls forward. There's another girl from Pennsylvania. I think it's more toward the East Coast. Okay. Um, because she had traveled a good bit to get there. Her name was Aubrey, too. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, <laughs> both of us were Aubrey's, and they were like, all right, we're going to send you to the next tent. And I was like, what? Oh, yeah, well, and I did sing Memory a Acapella. So okay. you're answering okay. your question. Uh, they sent us to the next tent, and, and I, they were like, uh, who plays the guitar in this? So I was like, oh, my dad over here. And then they are like, yep, bring him. And my dad was like, oh, no. So they did some filming with us, you know, they, 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 they filmed us like singing the song and then they took us over, filmed us in line as if we didn't like audition and yeah, you, right. you, know, you know how that works. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. yeah, yeah, they have to, they, yeah. well, it's a TV show, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, they have to, yeah, they course. have to get some stuff. But so whenever you go through the first process, mm -hmm. you, you don't stand in front of uh, Lionel Richie, right. and Luke Bryan and Katy Perry. It's a, it's an assistant producer oh, okay. who, yes. who's, who's basically running things, and then you're being kind of cattled around by by uh, these folks who are um, uh, contestant coordinators. Okay. And then after that, after we made it through that, they hand you a yellow sheet of paper that's basically like a release form for video and all this other stuff. You know, mm -hmm. just before they put us back in line and said, yeah. "Hey, act natural now. Act like yeah, you just right, got here. Right. Talk, you know, talk about what you talked about." Um, after that, then they coordinate between then and then, what was it, September? Yeah, to see if the executive producers wanted to see us. Right. So we didn't know. We didn't know whether or not they wanted to see us. So that was sort of a waiting game. And then they're like, hey. Fly out to Ooh. Burbank. And so then we had well, to go out okay. to Burbank. Okay. But let's just explain that story first. Burbank, like California, wasn't our only option. Yeah. Originally, we were going to go to New Orleans. New Orleans. Or but Chicago. I had gotten sick. Oh. And we're like, okay, Can so... Can we switch it? <laughs> yeah, and we did. So we end I ended up having my first experience in California there. Uh, we stayed in this little Ramada, you know. I mean, California Outside of an California, industrial park. <laughs> but that place was kind of scary. But <laughs> it was two seconds away from, like, Disney Studios and stuff. So we went and we sang it again. We're like, okay, you know, nothing's going to come out of this. Yeah. I mean, like, it's, it was Same amazing story. to come to California. You know? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, we'll leave and here with our heads held high. We came this far. It's yeah. great. We're going to high five after yeah, this yeah. is over. And no matter yeah, what. Yeah, exactly. You know what? They ended up sending us to uh, Nashville auditions, celebrity auditions. And at the end, I was still hoping. I, I was like, please, God, let Dad be a spectator this time. Because I'm always thinking, my guitar is going to be out of tune. I'm going to break a string. I'm going to screw this up for her, right? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So at the end, at the end, I'm just crossing my fingers. We played like three songs, I think. They let us go go uh, and and get through like maybe half of the third and there or uh, something like that. I forget I'm exactly. To think. We sang Memory. I know yeah. we sang Memory right, again. Right. And I think actually we sang two songs. We sang Memory and we sang Me and Bob McGee. Some Me and Bob McGee. And um, my dad and I, I don't know, we had problems with like the tempo or something because we had to like make a like a segment out of it. And my dad started wrong and I, I was like, just start over. It's okay. And and the, the executive producers were just like eating it up, like you got like a kick out of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, right, right. So they they sent us to Nashville, and and that was a whole day uh, worth of like just craziness. And again, we were like, all right, you know, like we're we're not we cannot make it past this, you know, <laughs> like it's, it's not going any farther than this. This this is awesome, but like, you know. So we were there. We had interviews all day. Um, it, it was such an amazing experience, you know. I got to meet so many people. She did her original. And she got three gold tickets, and we were both floored. And how yes. many? How many people? If, for the listeners, mm -hmm. you're listening to Westmoreland Community Connections on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. We're talking with Aubrey uh, uh, Birchall and her her father Ross Birchall, who. Uh, 
were recently on American Idol. Mm -hmm. um, and, and how many people participate in American Idol? I mean, how All many people? All told, there were 300,000 auditions. 300,000 auditions, right. mm -hmm. and you made... The top top 70. 70. The top 70. Top yeah. 70 in the country mm -hmm. of 300,000 auditions. Yeah. Wow, that's... Yeah. Amazing! I can't believe it. Yeah, we still haven't quite absorbed it. No, yeah, right, right. because because this whole time I've I've been feeling like, how am I worthy of this? Like, what did I do to deserve this? Because personally, I'm like the so many kids in the Pittsburgh music scene so deserve this chance. I'm like, what if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not good enough? You know? And in the end, like, sure, I went home top seventy. And you know what? I cannot be upset about that. No, it's yeah. huge right. validation for yeah, you. Yeah, uh, of course. Well, well, Aubrey, when when did you decide that you loved music and that you just wanted to pursue this as a career? I mean, I'm assuming you know, you're only 17, but mm -hmm. you you're you're obviously so talented. Thank uh, you. 70 out of 300,000, you're Thank going you so you're much. going to pursue this as a career, correct? Oh, of course, as long as I can. Well. The sort of beginning of anything that was professional, you know, yeah. um, was with Jamie's Dream Team. Are, are you familiar? No, no, not not really. Okay, well, they, they are um, sort of a local charity. They they ran a fashion show okay. uh, for kids that are sick. Okay. Um, and uh, I sort of started with Adele songs and strictly Adele songs. So Singing my with vocal tracks. Yes. So the, I was just this little like dirty blonde haired girl, didn't really know how to brush my hair, uh, just kind of standing there singing in my leopard print dress, <laughs> mortified. But they sort of got my start. That is where I was like, okay, I really enjoy this, and maybe I'll stop standing in one place. But I, I uh, took like mm, three or four years just singing to tracks, yeah. and then uh, my dad and I started doing an acoustic act for the past year and a half, I'd say. Well, obviously, your dad is a, a, is an influence on on you with for sure. his, with sure. his with his talent in music. For but sure. give the listeners some of the other influential uh, musicians. Maybe some sure. of I, I was I, I I did a little bit of uh, googling mm -hmm. before we before we had the uh, the the interview, and of I course. saw that you do a lot of Janis Joplin. I do. I actually. Um, our sort of crowd favorite is Me and Bob McGee by Janis Joplin. Yeah, right. Um, that's sort of, that is the one song people will request over and over in, and over again. And I can't complain oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because right, right. Uh, there was this one time, we, we sang that three times, twice in a row. Um, but that's totally okay. If the, peop if the people yeah, dig if it, that's what they you love, know, right? And I love it too. Janis and Joplin is like. You also do like, another Janis Joplin song, don't you? Or no, that's uh, I'm sorry, that's Dusty Springfield. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the, the the common uh, misconception with uh, what's it called, Son of a Preacher Man, yeah. is that it's done by uh, Janis Joplin, and people know it as a Janis Joplin song. But if you if you listen to the this is so off topic, if you listen <laughs> to the Dusty Springfield version and the uh, Janis Joplin version, it's the same version. It's, it's both by Dusty Springfield. Yeah. So that's a fun fact. Yeah. For all the people right, listening, right, 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 right. It's by well, Dusty this is Springfield. this is classic hits one hundred seven point one. I mean, okay. they're, 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 the people that are listening, they're they're into the into the classic yeah. hits. Uh, so, so what, are we. what are what are some of the other uh, influential musicians? Well, uh, personally, like for my voice, I uh, sort of gravitate to like towards R and B and soul. Okay. So some of my personal sort of like inspirations have been Amy Winehouse. Uh, Otis Adele, Redding. Otis Redding, um, oh Etta James. Yeah. Uh, then I've done some Patsy Cline. Etta um, James, At Last. Do you sing At Last? Yeah, I uh, do. It's one of my favorite songs in the world. <gasps> yeah. Oh, awesome. Great. That's actually Great. one of the first ones I, I, I had ever done. Nice. Uh, as a little 12 year old Aubrey. You know, singing at your uh, cousin's the, wedding. So do you yeah. have a, do you have a favorite band or a favorite album that you you, you mm -hmm. just you know whenever that day it's it's that stressful day you come home on a Friday night and you just you just listen to that yeah. that song. What what is that song? Oh uh, well, see I I don't know if I can pick as like a certain song, but I can pick a certain artist I sort of look, like sit down and listen to. Yeah. Um, and he's not like very popular, but Daniel Caesar has. He he's a soul singer. I would like to say yeah. sort of modern R and B. He uh, 
he, he just like hits my soul. So, I mean, I, a lot of people on this radio station probably don't know who Daniel Caesar is, but if you look him up, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Um, that and then Amy Winehouse. Back to Plaque is, is my favorite album right. of all time. Right, right. So I grew up with that. Like, that was my cleaning music. We'd like, me and my sister would like dance around like, we only said goodbye with words. And we'd like be like picking up or like not doing anything at all, actually. Just... <laughs> singing <laughs> well well when we get back we're going to hear you sing firsthand uh the listeners are going to get a chance to listen to uh to you sing firsthand uh we are talking with aubrey and russ birchall uh aubrey has and and her dad russ had been on uh american idol uh just recently one of the uh the 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 crown gems of young music in Westmoreland County. Thank You're you. listening to Westmoreland Community Connections on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. We'll be right back after these messages. This is Westmoreland Community Connections on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. If you have a suggestion for a topic or if your nonprofit organization would like to be featured on this program, call us during regular business hours at 724-216-1200. Westmoreland Community Connections is a presentation of the Westmoreland Drug and Alcohol Commission. Welcome back. You're listening to Westmoreland Community Connections on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. I'm your host, Chad Ammond, president of the Westmoreland County Chamber of Commerce. I'm excited today to have uh, two guests that are national uh, stars. Uh, 70, <laughs> seven, they made the 70 list out of 300,000 people that uh, performed for uh, American Idol. Uh, Aubrey and uh, her father, Russ Birchall, uh, from uh, North Huntington area in Westmoreland County. Uh, Aubrey, I have to say, one of the things that whenever I was, I was uh, watching your show on, on American Idol, what was it like to be in front of Lionel Richie, Luke Bryan, and, and, and Katy Perry singing as a 17-year-old? Uh, well, um, my dad and I were sort of both having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> um, so we went in there, right? And it's like walking into heaven because the lights are so, like, bright. So you walk in there and they're in front of you and they're all, like, lit up. They're lit up, like, like they're from, like, heaven. And I was looking at them like, these people are real. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, you know how, like, you, you have, like celebrities right and you just like see them on media and stuff you look it didn't really feel like like they were real people but they were they like in flesh right in front of me so like naturally i was like hey guys um i'm probably gonna throw up <laughs> and i actually told them that after I, I i had performed i was like i might throw up right now right and and katie was like oh please don't do that because if you do it then i'm gonna do it and I was like, I, I just wanted to let you know, like, like warn you ahead of time, right? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Um, but it was awesome. Like, Luke Bryan said my dad was a good dad. Lana Richie called me an artist. And Katy Perry liked my hair. And, and she thought I was cute and funny. And it was just like, we walked out of there. I was like, But did, did, that, did that make a connection to you that they are, they're just people too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, right? They, they truly they're, are. They're talented people, but they're just people too. Yes, just a, a, like extraordinary people that like they're doing like what I'd like to do one day. Right. And that is what's so amazing about it. Like they, they are just like Lionel Richie's a legend. And I, he called me an artist? Yeah. Right. Like what? <laughs> and and I'm, and I've said this in previous, like, like anytime someone asks me, I'm like, that was the shove I needed to sort of give me that confidence to do absolutely every everything I can while I'm young and able. Um, with with my dad here, sort of get a get us out there, and luckily we have an amazing, amazing, amazing support system behind us. Right. Um, Without them, we'd be absolutely nothing. Well, so how has life changed? I mean, Russ, for you and for mm -hmm. Aubrey, how how has life changed after after being on American Idol? Well, we were we were already pretty busy. She's she's been keeping me busy gigging and <laughs> and saving for her first car and doing all this other stuff because, mm -hmm. um, you know, we just run around a lot. But but afterwards, it, it, it of course people pick up on on the fact that she's been there, mm 
Mm-hmm. Um, and we've gained a, a large swath. Of, there has been a groundswell of support, particularly from Westmoreland County. It's been insane. Oh, we're incredibly. Um, yeah. Proud. Oh, it's it's Aww, the loyalty. Yeah. The loyalty out here is just just beyond the pale. It's it, it, I, we're humbled by it. Um, Absolutely. But but what's end up ended up happening is we're we're getting more festival style gigs. Um, you know, right. we, this will be our fourth year doing the Westmoreland Arts and Heritage Festival out, out at Twin Lakes, and okay. we always look forward to it. Yeah. On July fifth, we'll be up there. But um, but we're also going to be doing what's called TGIS. Yes, that's and um, June. That's in June. The Thursday in June. And, and, and over at the Palace yeah, Theater, yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, over at the Palace. That, that's yeah. the one that yes. the, at the Palace Theater where they have yeah, the, right uh, the patio. Yes, yeah. yes. So oh, we really look forward to that, and greatest. and we're also going to be doing the um, the uh, Banana Splits Festival this year. Okay, great. Uh, August twenty fifth, and that. we're really looking forward to that. Okay. And um, oh, absolutely. All of these other things. I mean, we we play the wineries, we play we play local restaurants, we play everywhere. But it's it's going to be even busier this year because of her newfound notoriety. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So so life has changed. Absolutely. Oh, significantly. <laughs> well, one of the things that that is exciting to me is that you don't just do covers. You you guys you guys write your own music yes. and and you have you have some uh, incredible songs and Thank and you. our listeners are going to get a chance right now to hear uh, mm-hmm. uh, one of your new songs. It's yeah. uh, it's it's not completely released yet or uh, no it... we we were actually in the studio Saturday uh, we, we worked on it for five hours we didn't finish it yet so like we didn't want to rush it rush it or anything yeah. um, but it will be coming out soon no matter what this song will be coming out it's gonna sound a lot different than the, the acoustic version of right. course right this is the much more stripped down version there's yeah. gonna be a, a larger version with keys and multiple layered guitars Bass. multiple layered vocals and, yeah. and a sax okay and if sax, you can yeah. imagine that and it's it's just gonna be mind-blowing we're, right. we're, we're really excited about yes it. nice nice yes. so we're the, our listeners are gonna hear this song for the from the acoustic version for the first time right yes. all right I kick it off all right thank you guys so much this is fate a healthy breath in What I begin, babe We're falling in love We're so hard with you It's easy Where did you come from Who let you in, babe I can thank God for you Thank God Well, everything happens for a reason That's what we always say The past is the past, even though it hurts Well, I've been lied to, and life beats you down We got back up in you You, you are mine It's heaven on earth, yeah, for what it's worth It's day of fun Every dream, a dream, and cool to hand in mine. You're everything I want and need. The stars have aligned, so high I could fly. Never thought I'd be on my feet again, but here you are. Mm-hmm. Sure, I have ghosts, and you know I'm scared, babe. They never fail to haunt me when I'm happy. But for you, babe, I'll be your light in the dark, be your fighter when it's hard. I'll wipe your tears, you are safe here. Cause everything happens for a reason. What we always say, the past is the past, even though it hurts. Well, I've been lied to, and life beats you down. We got back up in you. You, you are mine. It's heaven on earth, yeah, for what it's worth. Yeah. Listen up now, hear me out. I'm well belong without a doubt. Listen up now, look at the stars, the constellations, their hearts, destiny, you and me. Listen, cause you, you, you are 
I'm not. I, 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 it, it is very rare that I am a loss for words. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh uh, Westmoreland County is so proud to have you uh, as a as a as a, a talented artist. Uh, Thank you so much, uh, listeners. Uh, that that was Aubrey Birchell, uh from uh, from North Huntington uh, area, and her her father Ross. Uh, she has recently been on American Idol. And obviously, a tremendous talent. Uh, you. you can see her. Uh, when, when when can listeners see you uh, next? Uh, when 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 are, when are when are some of the programs that you will be? Uh, you're at you're at Bella Terra. You're obviously at the Keynote Cafe, the Palace Theater, Lamp Theater. All right. Well, um, first of all, thank you so much again for having us. Uh, my most recent sort of uh, thing I got going on is at the Kino Cafe I hold an open mic so that's not really like like just me but it'd be really cool if like you came out and and uh supported Thursday. yeah this Thursday April 12th okay. and then uh, the 13th I'll be at Baruni that's in mm -hmm. um Bridgetown so that's like that's a little bit is of a, a distance. Web, is there a website? That, yes, that, that yes. Can go My on? whole schedule is on the Facebook page. Um, okay. Aubrey Birchall on Facebook. You can friend me on Facebook, and then I have a like page. Yeah. So there's. And like, if you go to aubreybirchall.com, it's not a it's not a great website. It just points okay. you to all of her different social feeds. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's just a funnel. So it's just www.aubreybirchall.com. It'll take you to her Facebook. I think that the Twitter link is actually there, even though you don't hardly ever use it. Yeah, and I'm then, horrible um, at Twitter. And then the Instagram's also there. So. Right. Yes. Right. So, so, but the listeners can find you on on the web, and they sure. can find your For sure. find your calendar. Yep. Uh, you know, I'm a huge baseball fan, and I was I I'm, I go to so many games. I might have been at the one that uh, that you sang. Talk oh, about wow. talk about singing uh, at the Pirates game for the national anthem. I was lucky enough to uh, sing the the national anthem of uh, at PNC Park in that stadium. There were so many people. It was the scariest thing. And then, then on top of that, it has this like sort of delay. It sort of comes like right back at you. I made it through, and like the pirates were like, "You're awesome," and I was like, "Thanks." <laughs> like, it was in an ex like so insane. It was so insane. Like I have been blessed with with so many fantastic opportunities. That was definitely one of them. Wow. Wow. It's really amazing. <laughs> You're listening to Westmoreland Community Connections on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. Uh, we're talking with Aubrey uh, Birchall and her dad, Russ. Uh, we listened to Fate. If, you, if you're just tuning in, we, we listened to uh, one of Aubrey's uh, new songs, original song called Fate. Uh, if you want to, uh, to, to find her on, on Facebook or on the website, uh, you can search Aubrey uh, Birchall, uh, and and you will be able to find her her calendar and to see her live. Um, I, I'm going to round it out with this. Uh, where do you see this going in the next couple of years, uh, Aubrey? For those listeners that just tuned in, Aubrey is only 17. Uh, she was one of 70 out of 300,000 people that made it on to the uh, the, the, the the finalists uh, for. Uh, for American Idol, uh, where do you see yourself going in the next couple of years? Well, for the next couple of years, I'm definitely going to be, you know, trying my very best to be able to make this my career. Like, my backup plan is to be an RN, but I don't want to have to do that, you know. Like, I love, I love the occupation, you know, it's an amazing thing to do, but I want to be able to make music my career. Um, so that's sort of what I'm going to be work on, working on. So my goal is to hopefully someday uh, be able to make this what I do. Well, 
I think that's going to be happening. Thank you I so much. I think it's going to be happening. Russ, what do you, uh, what do you, any, any, any last thoughts for this? Well, yeah, um, I, I think that, that she, she kind of hit the nail on the head. If, if you love what you do for a living, um, you may still work. I don't believe in that you don't work yeah. a day in your life, yeah. but you may still work, but it'll be more of a labor of love. Yeah. And, and I think that the longevity of this should be something more along the lines of, okay, yeah, you can perform now. Maybe set up, maybe set up an LLC or small indie label, and maybe yes. even scout other other artists at some point because there is so much talent just here oh, in Westmoreland God, County. Right. The talent is phenomenal; it's mind blowing. Um, so that's that's where I, I kind of see her going, and and I know this dad, and I know I know her mom, who works very hard at all of this stuff. Um, she's basically our webmaster; keeps us on track with a lot of everything that we do. Yes. Um, we're behind her and, and our other two daughters. We do have other two daughters, a gymnast and, and one that also plays guitar and sings. Yeah, We're behind them 110%, and, and we just want to give them the lives that they're going to be happy with, yes. you know. So, right. Two amazing people, Aubrey and Russ Birchall uh, from Westmoreland County. We're delighted and proud to have you uh, have you be a part of this county and connect with uh, with honored. Westmoreland County. So, thank you. Yeah, thank uh, you so much. Great luck to uh, to the to the rest of this summer and uh, to thank the you. years ahead. I guarantee that you are going to be uh, one of those people that is is just going to be talented for the rest of your life. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've been listening to Westmoreland Community Connections on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. Join us next week same time same place for another edition of Westmoreland Community Connections. Thanks for listening everyone. This has been Westmoreland Community Connections, a look at issues and happenings in and around Westmoreland County. Join us again next week on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. Westmoreland Community Connections is a presentation of the Westmoreland Drug and Alcohol Commission.